this is our second part of our series of cut one get three and where with this irregular paper we will fold and get a octahedron a square and a four pointed star with just a single cut and we will get a pattern if like this and this is our octahedron We will first fold the paper in half along the length and then fold again from the middle. We have now folded twice. We will fold once more to make this sort of a triangle, a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We have now divided this paper into 8 equal parts. We will fold again, so we have folded in total 4 times. And so now, when we get perpendicular to the fold, we will see an octahedron. Now let's cut in a direction which is not perpendicular to the fold. Hence, we will increase the number of the cuts when we open, since we are cutting at an angle to the fold. And now when we open, we will see an 8 pointed star instead of an octahedron and we can keep repeating this cycle fold again and this time cut at a perpendicular to the folded side and this is absolutely magical that we will get a square now we can repeat this experiment keep folding and cutting and explore the symmetry and now since we are cutting at an angle we will again get a star we will now try to make a beautiful pattern on an octahedron we will make different cuts on the sides of the triangle both on both sides and even in the center we can cut the notch at the corner and notice the beautiful pattern that comes out Notice the symmetry and reflection of our cuts. Hope you enjoyed making the octahedron. And now it's time to think. We made this octahedron by four folds. Can you cut and cut us? We used a straight line. Now, can we cut along certain paths so as to get a perfect circle? And what is the unique property of that path along which we should cut to make a perfect circle? instead of an octahedron. Send us your answers. Thank you.